It's because of corruption in the Gambia, nothing is working. The root cause of all the problems we are facing in this country is because of corruption. The reason why our poor mothers, our poor forefathers are suffering in the rural Gambia. There's not enough electricity supply in this country. There's not enough water supply in this country. Rural Gambia's children or children don't even have water to drink. It's because of corruption. Few people are investing in the money of the state, the national cake that should be equally be shared by everyone to enjoy as Gambians. It's in the hands of few people, you know, because of corruption, enjoying with their families in both home and abroad, while the mass Gambians, the innocent Gambians, the taxpayers, the women who suffered in the garden, the women selling in the market, the people who are on the hustle every day selling and paying this tax to the government are being subjected to active poverty and, and uh, they cannot even provide themselves with the basic needs and basic food that they need for the public. There is a serious need for this anti-corruption bill to be passed in the National Assembly and finally become the law. Because this bill will be the salvation of the country, this bill will be the solution to all our national problems. This is the bill that will provide equal share of the national cake between the less privileged Gambians and the privileged Gambians, between the poor and the rich. This is the bill that will give us clean drinkable water for every Gambian. This is the bill that will put a smile in the people in the rural Gambia. The people in the rural Gambia will understand that the kids, the women and farmers are suffering. No clean drinkable water, no basic amenities for them because few people are putting our money in their pocket. With a serious voice, I'm here to call on all the National Assembly members, especially these newly National Assembly members. The then National Assembly members failed us because they refused to pass this bill to become a law. So this time we are putting our hope and trust in you to make sure that this bill is passed and finally becomes a law. And finally, I, Usinu Gambia, strongly and firmly support the anti-corruption bill. And I call on every patriotic Gambian and every patriotic citizen, every national loving citizen to support the anti-corruption bill.